Molly, Dolly, Molly, Dolly, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Hey friends, did you guys have a great lunch today? I just finished a big bowl of broccoli soup with a baguette on the side. The combination of soup with a baguette was so delicious. What a coincidence. The story I'm about to share with you guys is also about soup. It's a special kind of soup. Have you ever heard about stone soup? Is that even edible? The stone soup is a European folk story in which hungry strangers convince the people of a town to each share a small amount of their food in order to make a meal that everyone enjoys and exists as a moral regarding the value of sharing. I prepared a slightly different adaptation from the original story. Now let's jump right into the story to find out what's so special about an extraordinary soup. It was an unusually cold winter day. An old lady was walking past the town where animal friends were living my age is getting to me. It's tiring to even walk this much. I should take a break in this town. I'm quite hungry too. I should also ask for some food. Who is that old lady? I've never seen her before. A stranger? Why would she be in our town? I shall lock my door. All the animals locked their door and stayed at home quietly after noticing the stranger. They didn't want her to ask them for any help. Right then, the old lady knocked on the pig's door. Knock, knock. Is anyone there? The day is cold and I'm hungry. Could I get some rest here? But there was no response from the inside. She moved on to the duck's house. Knock, knock. Is anyone there? No one here too? Let me try a different house. Knock, knock. Hmm. That's quite strange. Right. I have an idea. Not one of the forest animals offered to help the old lady. What method do you think that old lady came across with? <clears throat> I'm too hungry. I should boil a stone soup. The stone soup is the most delicious soup in the world. Stone soup? What kind of soup is that? She says it's the most delicious one. In order to cook a delicious stone soup, I need a large pot. A large pot? I have one. Here you go. Oh, thank you. In order to boil water, I need some wood and fire. Here is the wood. I brought some from my house. It's starting to boil. Now I need a stone. A stone? Here you go. Oh, thank you. Now that I put the stone in, I need some carrots and cabbage to make it taste better. I have carrots at home. I will bring some cabbage. Thank you. It's good as it is, but if we put in a little meat and some potatoes, this soup will taste more delicious. I will bring some potatoes and meat. Thank you. It'll be more sweet if we have some onions. I have some onions. Thank you. Can you bring a big ladle on the way? It smells so, so good. The old lady started stirring the soup with the vegetables and meat that the forest animals brought. 
Let's make the most delicious soup ever. It smells so delicious with the stone, vegetables, and meat. If we just add some salt and pepper, it'll be perfect. Here's salt and pepper. Thank you. Wow, the smell is just so perfect. Bring your own bowls. The stone soup is ready. Okay. okay. The forest animals quickly brought their own bowls to eat the soup. The old lady distributed the soup into each of their bowls. Wow, this is the most delicious soup I've ever eaten. I didn't know stone soup tasted so good. I want to have another bowl of the soup. It tastes better because we're doing everything together. You are so right! We've never made and ate something together like this before. We shall do this again. The next morning, the old lady got ready to leave. Everyone in the village came out to say goodbye. Thank you for giving me a place to sleep and sharing your food with me. No problem. Could you share your recipe of the stone soup with us before you leave? Yes, please. It was so tasty. Actually, there's no special recipe to it. If you make anything together and have a wonderful time eating it together, everything will taste delicious. Thank you. Please come visit us again. All right. See you guys. The old lady said her goodbye to the animal friends and went on her way. And this is the end of today's story. Although the forest animals were hesitant to offer help and share at first, it seems like they figured out how meaningful it is to give. I'm so glad the forest animals learned that sharing with others will ultimately bring great joy to themselves. I will also share more with my friends and family from now on. See you again next time. Bye!